nothing but bright lights everywhere. I feel like a moth addicted to a lamp right now. I'm not even joking. In my previous video, I had an absolute blast in Sapporo, but it was time for me to move on to my next adventure. Now, I'll come back later on another video to tell you what I did on the 11th. So for now, let's kick things off near Tamachi Station in Tokyo. So ever since I landed uh, a couple days ago, it's just been an absolute blur. Um, just doing one thing after another and I've been doing such a horrible job trying to uh, eat so what I'm gonna do now is see if I can get some traditional uh, Japanese breakfast over here by uh, Tamachi station this is Shinpachi Shokudo a chain of almost 40 restaurants spread across Japan this chain specializes in giving you the feeling of a traditional Japanese breakfast you walk in it's very quaint quiet you order on a tablet which unfortunately doesn't have English on there, but it's pretty easy to order. I got fish, rice, miso soup, ginger, and pickled radish. And it came out to a nice and cheap 539 yen. Stomach full, and now it's time for a new day of adventures. So I just made it to Yokohama, and the reason why I wanted to come here is because uh, of this. The Nissan Global Headquarters. They have a free showroom, a gallery, uh, where they have a bunch of new cars and old cars, and I definitely want to check out and take a So at the Global Headquarters, they have a Nissan uh, gallery that has like a bunch of cars on display, everything from new vehicles all the way to old vehicles, um, where you can just go and take pictures. They're just there, so, and it's, uh, it's free to get in. And yeah, let's see what pictures I can get. This is the Nissan Global Headquarters, home of one of the most iconic car brands in the world. You'll find things here like the original Fair Lady Z, a model of the Nissan Silvia, and other things like this GTR magazine and stuff from Nismo. During my visit, they had a Nissan Max Out concept car where they had screens inside of the wheels and in the back of the car. They also had things like this GTR Nismo N Attack car for the Nürburgring, a Nissan Skyline Passage GT, and the Nissan Leaf test car. When you're here, just keep in mind that they rotate these cars. You'll never know what you'll find. Like this GTR 50 they've displayed before. And if you're really lucky, you'll see the R33 LM production vehicle, which led to the very famous Pennzoil R33 race car. As you keep looking around, you'll find official Nismo parts that have been put on vehicles before. Walk even further, and you'll find the official gift shop where you'll find things like these mugs, this tie, and of course, these brand new Fair Lady Z treats. Of course, I had to get a couple things, and some of them were actually gifts, but for me, I got myself this Nismo keychain and this rather expensive GTR keychain that I'm holding onto until I get my dream car, which is an R35 GTR. So I'm in the very beautiful Yokohama right now, and as you can see behind me, it is very picturesque. It's very beautiful. It's very, the temperature is perfect. Like, I, I want to move here, like right now, that'd be great. Um, but yeah, you see the skyline, you see the, you see the ship over here, very beautiful. You see a Ferris wheel, some solar power over there. Uh, but here's why I'm here. The uh, Gundam factory. I've been waiting for this one.
This is the Gundam Factory, Yokohama. Opened in late 2020, this engineering marvel was built to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Gundam. It is, without a doubt, one of the coolest places I have ever been to, and I highly, highly suggest you see it before they close. Initially, this place was destined to close on March 2022. However, because of it being popular, it was extended to 2023, March of 2023, which is around the time I went. And shortly after I went, they announced that they're actually extending it until March 2024. So if you're in Yokohama around this time, please go check it out. This place is really cool. Included with the price of admission is this model kit that they give you right at the door. Be careful, once you make this one, you might get addicted. With an additional ticket, you get access to the observation deck, where you can go up multiple floors and see the Gundam up close. You can really sense the scale of this thing. Instructions to go up to the observation levels are done in both Japanese and English, so you won't have any trouble understanding what to do next. One of the attendants who spoke to me in English saw me after I went up the observation deck. He shared some words, and I'm so glad what he said was actually caught in audio. Thank you. That was good. How was that? Gundam is gorgeous. Very gorgeous. Looking good. Yeah. Handsome guy like you and me. <laughs> Very handsome. Damn. <laughs> Around 18 o'clock, darkness coming, light up something. Then okay. Gundam becomes so gorgeous. Okay. And I think Gundam is gonna be sexy. Yeah. Sexy <laughs> like you and me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. For coming. <laughs> thank you. Uh, you too. Thank you. What a lovely man. So I just checked out the uh, moving Gundam, and that thing was pretty awesome to see up close. I uh, went up to the viewing deck and everything. The sun was setting behind it. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm going to head back out there now that the sun is setting. It's starting to light up and, uh, and so on. But I am absolutely starving right now. So I'm at the Gundam Cafe. And uh, I ended up getting a lunchbox set, which has like a cutout of the Gundam uh, by Seaweed. And this Haro themed, which uh, failed attempt. I tried to record this earlier. I forgot to hit record. So this is already pre-eaten, uh, but uh, basically this is a Haro-themed uh, steamed bun from a local Chinese place called uh, Edo Sai, I believe. So since we're in Yokohama, Chinese food here, like the Chinatown here, is absolutely incredible. So I assume this is going to be good, and after taking a bite, yeah, it was actually pretty good. So wasn't sure about red bean paste, but you know what? I don't mind it. I think it's okay. It was time to check out more what this place had to offer. Such as the Gundam base, where you'll find multiple different model kits that you can actually buy. After that, it was time to head to the Gundam Academy, where you can figure out what is a Gundam. And you can see the companies involved in making this whole area come to life. While looking around, a couple of attendants waved a lot of people over saying, hey, come take a look at this. And sure enough, it was an actual robot building its own gunpla. Now, some of the parts are pre-assembled, but seeing it, scan it, and put it together, it was a pretty cool sight. This is also the same kit that you get with the price of admission. You'll come across more stats on a Gundam and see videos on how they actually put it all together. Keep looking even further, you'll see a wall of all the different Gundam series. Do you have a favorite? And as you leave, you find a whole wall dedicated to the fans, where they have messages and pictures that they've drawn up, thanks to Gundam. What a unique place to visit. This is one of those things that you'll only ever find in Japan. And I'm very sad that it may actually close. If you have a chance to see it, go see it.
had an absolute blast at the Gundam factory. Uh, I didn't think that I was going to be staying there for most of my day in Yokohama, and, but I ended up just staying there. Just I just really enjoyed it. I spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out what I wanted to buy because I just wasn't sure that like the the actual like store inside was pretty small. I really wanted some stuff from uh, the newest series, uh, Gundam, uh, The Witch from Mercury, but they were all sold out. So I'm like, all right, well, what do I get? And that's what I didn't know. Uh, but thankfully, I still walked out with a few things. So before I head back to my hotel room, uh, what I'm gonna do, since I'm still in Yokohama, I'm gonna check out the Chinatown and just take a bunch of pictures and see what happens. This is the Yokohama Chinatown. It's one of the oldest Chinatowns in all of Japan. Just walking around the Chinatown here is just, it's a little much. There's so many, so many bright lights. Like if I kind of turn this way, you look down that alleyway, you'll see like nothing but signs for restaurants and just nothing but bright lights everywhere. I feel like a moth addicted to a lamp right now. I'm not even joking. I'm completely overwhelmed by all the lights that are in the Yokohama Chinatown right now. Uh, I have a flight to catch early in the morning, uh, so I gotta get going, but I really wanna come back. It's only 30 minutes away from Tamachi Station where I'm, uh, where I'm staying. Like, like, just look at this alleyway. Look at that. It was time to head back to my hotel and get ready for the next part of my adventure. <laughs>